this is, this is common buckthorn. One of the characteristics of many of them is that they put their leaves on earlier in the spring and they come off later in the fall. So they're, they've got a longer period when they're uh, um, making photosynthate, when they're active. Um, and they're really easy to spot then and I've driven down the interstate and sort of kept my eye open and you'd see them, greater numbers of them, near the villages. Um, so as I would be driving south, um, I might be going by Windsor, and as I'm getting sort of within three or four miles of Windsor, um, I begin to see more and more and more, um, perhaps buckthorn or perhaps something else. Oh, you can start seeing the berries in, uh, in July, actually. Um, now they're, we're in beginning of September and they're just, ripe and juicy and the birds will eat them really squishy um, and there's a seed in there and uh, that runs through the birds really quickly um, and so they don't carry them very far but man if they ate a lot of these and ate a lot of seeds they can really spread them around many seeds um, are only viable for a short period of time for example a sugar maple seed is going to fall in the fall and um, the next spring it's going to sprout and it's going to die if it didn't sprout. Um, some of these guys can stay alive in the soil for five, ten years um, just until the conditions get just right, just the right amount of sunlight and then they'll sprout a new plant. There are two buckthorns that are around here that are invasive. One of them is the common buckthorn and the other one's called glossy. Um, I've sort of gotten so that they sort of look similar to me. The, the common buckthorn has speckles on the stem, so that's a real good characteristic um, for the common buckthorn for finding that. And it, it will sprout aggressively. If you cut it, you cut one, you'll get five. Here underneath this, this buckthorn is a little sprout. So that could grow up into be a tree, another shrub. And there's another one. So you can imagine that if you had, you know, a lot of these around, that it wouldn't take a little bit, little bit of sunlight. They're just all prime, healthy, ready to go. You know, this plant may be fine all by itself. It's really not doing a whole lot of damage. Um, but eventually we're gonna to get to the point where some of these older trees are, you know, natural for succession. The trees are gonna die. Something's gonna to happen to them. A windstorm's gonna come along and blow them over or whatever. And when that happens, the, um, the buckthorn um, and many of the other invasives are sort of already set, they're already established, and they take over and they, they become, they want to become the next forest. Um, so it's very difficult for our native species, the sugar maples, the white pines, the paper birch, yellow birch, whatever else, to survive with the competition from these things.